Hello and good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sword Darkchild, and welcome to Let's Replay Link's Awakening. Last time I did part one, showing us the beginning up to this point of the first dungeon in this game. Not long after that, after showing both versions of this game, the Switch and the Game Boy, I set up a poll for this uh, title to give you if a choice of which version you guys like the best and I would do a playthrough of that version of the game. And not many people voted on that one unfortunately. Only had three votes on the poll for that one. And the winner for that poll, as you can see, it's the Switch version. So we're gonna be doing this version for the playthrough. And we're continuing inside the first dungeon of the game, the Tail Cave. There we go. There's going to be a lot of these small keys that we're going to be collecting. Ow. There we go. Of course, that's the compass. That'll just show us where the boss and the uh, item that we need to collect after defeating them is located. Oh yeah, and it tells you in this, I'm pretty sure in the original too, but whenever the compass shows up in a certain room in this uh, game, it lets you know that there is a treasure to be collectible in a certain room or two. So that's pretty handy. Now then. Let's take care of these keys. You see that breakable wall over there? Make a note of that for much later in the game. Like around the time we get bombs in our inventory. We're gonna need it. Come back for that. Because we can't get it at the moment right now. Push you. There we go. There we go. Hey, look, Goombas. And we got a Guardian Acorn, which brings up our uh, defense a little more by half. And our dungeon item for this place is the Rock's Feather. Which is one of the few items in any Zelda game that allows Link to jump. You're going to be using this item a lot in this game.
Got it. A key. That takes care of that. Skeletons. I like to corner them against the wall and make it easier for me to, uh, well, you know, defeat them. Now let's do a little bit of backtracking. There we go. Nice. A 20 rupee. We've got a lot of money on us right now. That triangle there will bring up your attack temporarily. <laughs> Sorry, that was just funny that I made the gel being skeleton jump down there. And we got the map. Good. Now then, what's upwards before I go that way? I pressed the wrong button. Oh yeah! Inside this chest is the nightmare key. Yeah, that's what they call the big boss key for the, uh, for each dungeon you go through. Because, basically, you're in a dream. And you have to fight seven, eight nightmares to wake up. Hard to believe, right? I need a heal. Really badly. Oh, hi! I don't like these guys. Dang it! Okay, I need it on the green. This always happens. Alright, heart. There we go. I hope that's a heart. Nope, stone beak. For those owl statues that can give you hints. Now then. Mini boss time. Ah, damn it. I died. <sighs> I knew I should have walked out of there before going for that mini-boss. What a dummy. Oh well. I do like a challenge. And that was one challenge I should not have gone for. 
Let's try that again. And this is stupid easy. I mean, look at that. I took him out no problem that time. And if you have a ball, you can catch that fairy. And up ahead is our first nightmare of the game. This nightmare's name is... This was a, a cider. Moldorm. His weakness is that orb on his tail. There are two ways you can do this. One, use your shield and have him ram you against the wall. Or two, use the rock's feather, jump over him, and uh, try to hit his tail. Word of caution, however, if you fall down those holes there, the battle will have to restart. I know, because this happened to me many times when I uh, played this game long ago on the Game Boy version. And he was much harder. You got the full moon cello. Hmm. And each one plays a certain melody that'll get you to the final boss. Let's head back to the shop and see if we can buy anything new. Oh. It's the owl. Ooh, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with seven others in the set, has the power to waken the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you these directions. Your next goal is north in Gulpgonga Swamp. Hoot indeed. Okay. But first things first, there's something I want to get back in town. Yeah. Hey, buddy! It's serious! Yeah, really serious! Yeah, it is! The Moblins came to the village! Yeah, that's right! A whole gang of Moblins! It's... Then it's for real. Oh, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something to Bow Wow's house. He was really bad scene he, with the m, m moblins So, I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out what happened. 
It's terrible, my Bow Wow. I was dog napped by Moblins. Oh, uh, please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Yeah, in order to get to the next dungeon, we gotta do this little thing. But first things first. You, I want to play your crane game. The piece of heart we're not going to get at the moment. We're just here for that Yoshi doll. This was a lot easier in the original. As you can see what I mean. This version, the claw game is a little annoying. Acting like the real thing, but this time I got it on the second try. That's the first item in the trading quest. Whoa, you have a Lani Yoshi doll. Oh, well, we've been trying to get that forever. Her mom is really desperate to have one. Yeah. Got it. Well now. There's something I need to get up here. Hopefully I got enough rupees to try and get it. Piece of heart is not what I'm after here. The item I'm after in here is, you see that bottle down there? Behind the reef? What I'm trying to do here is get that ball without having any of the fish in the lake interfere. Slowly but surely, we will get it. Just try my best not to go too fast because I don't want them fish to interrupt. Something tells me about this fish right here on my line is going to get in the way. Yup, called it. It got in the way. Which means I gotta get that fish out of the way. Not that fish! something caught in this fish mouth a piece of heart okay all right you there fish 
I need to get you out of the way so I can get that jar. Now to let it sink all the way to the bottom and get that jar if I can. Without any fish on this side of the lake to interrupt. Gotcha. Now then, reel it in, Link. There we go. Now I won't have to make that same mistake twice. Now, let's go help that dog that was kidnapped by the Moblins. And I know where to go. I was going to get that one eventually anyway. Now then. Welcome to the Moblin base. Uh, who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys. Let's get rid of him. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Mau Mau. Hope to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. We'll see about that. Nothing to it. Ooh, a fairy. <laughs> yep, the dog this woman belongs owns Bow Wow. Is a chain chomp that we saw in episode one. Let's bring you home. That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in the Gongponga Swamp. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, I haven't forgotten. And there is no key for the swamp. If you want to be more literal for what the key is for the swamp, it's following you. pieces of heart do I have? Two. Okay. I know where I can get a third. <laughs> That's where. And my fourth one will be at the uh, crane machine that I skipped. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you brought ba my baby back. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks! Okay. Uh, why not? I've got a little bit of time left. I'll finish this episode with getting our next car container. Let's get that heart piece. I got more than enough rupees for it. But it's not gonna be fun. Oh, I got it! First try! How about that? How can I not get that the first go with, uh... With, uh... The Yoshi doll? Anyway, now we got five hearts. And now... To the entrance of the next, uh, dungeon. Not hard to get to. Since, uh, that chain jump will open the way by eating the plants blocking your way. No, that isn't a joke. He actually will open the way for doing that. Just like he did with that moblin. Hate like likes. Mmm, a rupee. Thanks, Poochie. And there's our entrance to the uh, second dungeon of the game. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, of which we will take on next time in Let's Replay Link's Awakening. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks. <laughs>